Hey guys, welcome back to the ET Customs video and today we'll be looking at my painted build of the uh, Heavy Arms Custom. Alright, so um, before we start, I'll just let you guys uh, show you guys the uh, open hatched uh, look. I basically just painted the inner side of all the, um, how to say, all the hatch black so that it looks more realistic. Uh, because the previous one you can see inside it's actually like bluish like this so it's actually like slightly gray so i want to have a two-tone effect as you can see there's like a gunmetal kind of a color and then there's also a black piece inside so it feels like there's a multiple part than just one plain simple color right um and then basically what i do is actually i just paint the whole kit according to the uh, original color but just with a slight twist to it Alright, as you can see, the purple over here is actually uh, slightly darker purple than uh, you've seen on the uh, book uh, or the original one. It's actually slightly lighter, like a light blue kind of effect. But I make it into a purple because uh, my whole entire kit basically looks darker than the original one. Alright, so as for this kit, actually I did a lot of mistakes. Um, I actually broke my backpack here. This backpack over here, as you can see, is not in all the way, right? Uh, mainly because that uh, I broke the packs and I tried to fix it and I can't, so I had to glue it in, right? So now it is stuck in there permanently and I can't rotate this. This side you can rotate, right? But uh, for this side, no, it's actually fixed. If I rotate it, it's gonna break. And I can't really fit the guns on there because the guns are actually quite heavy. And then also, I actually added some super glue to the joints. Because the joints are just way too loose. I mean at the arms especially. Because I actually wanted it to have these. Uh, I can bring them up like this kind of pose. You see? It can actually hold it now. Previously I didn't. I, I Before I add glue to it. You can't even hold this type of pose. It will keep, sag down, it will keep sagging down. And I don't know. I'm not really sure why. Uh, for me actually I kind of prefer the close hatched look. But I'll just start off the video by the open hatch so that you can see the details that I put it in. Right, so basically uh, what I did is actually quite um, similar to my other builds. Which is that all the grey parts in the frame, I actually painted uh, gunmetal silver. Uh, um, gunmetal grey. And then the silver part of the kits, I actually just paint, it, paint them chrome. Right, but you can see some of them is like a battle damage kind of effect. It's because that... Um, when I put on the, the, the decals and I add on the what is called the mark softener kind of thing and somehow it do melt the, the paint slightly and they have this effect I actually did top coat it but for some reason the top coat uh, doesn't help that much and also when I was uh, panel lining the kit um, and then I used the zippo fluid to it and it actually d does fade the chrome slightly so this is why all the inner parts of all these uh, missiles and stuff, I didn't do any panel line because I'm afraid that I will fade them out too much. Alright, so the only part that you can see that faded is mostly the guns. So when I top coat the whole kit, I actually close up all the hatch and then I just top coat all in one go. Right, and then uh, as usual, my V fins and this part that is uh, originally yellow, I basically just uh, paint them chrome. After it's dry, I paint in uh, one uh, one final uh, two layers actually, two layers of uh, what's it called the candy yellow color. Okay, so that's uh, basically how I do most of my yellow parts. I want it, them to be very shiny because I want to emphasize it as a Gundam, especially the V fin part, right? Uh, this is just my own, I mean my design choice. Of course, it's free for you guys to to do the design that you like, right? So uh, this kit looks overall quite good. I think I will just close up the hatch and let you guys see the close close up look. And I will just remove the guns so that's easy for me to show you around. Okay. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is actually the close form of the kit. Um, before that, I actually go through the weapons. Uh, as you can see, the color that actually I use is actually a gunmetal gray, and I try to do some shadings, but it doesn't really appear that well. Uh, but of course, you can see some parts like this part is darker than this part, right? 
and so on and so forth. I actually tried my best to do shadings, but on gun metal parts, it's kind of hard. I have always had problems with the dark pieces, I mean shadings on dark pieces, right? So this is basically how the gun looks like. Um, if I were to advise, I think that the tip over here, I guess, is better for you to swap off the colors. In my opinion, I guess that maybe you can go this with uh, darker colors. And then the barrels here will be chrome. And the part, the part here will be darker colors again. And then the tips here should be chrome, I guess. Um, if I were to repaint this and redo this, I, I think that would be the better choice. Right, but as for me, I just follow back the... Uh, original supernova uh, color scheme that it provides so every silver part i just paint them chrome right so that's about it for the gun nothing much secondly i will go through the um i think i just go through with the weapon strap over here as you can see they are actually very nice and nicely detailed and painted right a lot of these, the gaps are big because I cut off some of the packs to make it easy to fit. Alright, so let's just look at this thing over here. As you can see from the light angle over here, there's actually shadings that I've done for the kit. So that it doesn't look like, um, like a blank piece of something. Alright, something like my base over here. Right, my base over here, I actually did some shadings and some effects so that it doesn't look like a bland kind of thing. Right, so it also goes really well with my Gundam over here. So this dark shading somehow it works, maybe because it's a flat surface, but on the gun it just looks pretty off, right? And you can see the amount of decals on this thing is crazy a lot, right? I like this one down here. It's a very shiny, but um, the decals looks very very clean and bright, but the and there's like there's no uh, how to say there is no weathering to it, but the shadings makes it feels like a slightly weathered look. But I think overall it looks good and as, as you can see the uh, racks over here you can see there is a notch over here and the notch over here uh, this is for the guns the notch is supposed to go through this thing over here for the gun so if the notch is this side you just put it this way and the notch over that side just put it that way that's about it so the racks I'll just leave it like this on the back of the Gundam just for a display right okay now just let's go to the Gundam um, alright so Basically, the Gundam now looks like a black heavy arms, right? But if you really look closely, there is actually two tones of color. As you can see, this color over here and the back part over here is different. The back one is black and this one is actually a custom color that I made, which is actually um, uh, green uh, mixed with uh, blue. And also, I add in a very, very little amount of white. So it actually supposed to come out like the original, um, slightly slightly darker color of the original, but for some reason that it come after it dries up, it becomes dark. So that is actually my uh, my regret. I would say I would actually prefer to make them lighter, right? So if you want to see the colors more easily, is actually this part of the hand, right? Um, the lights. Right, so basically the let's try to let me try to remove the hands. Alright, so this is basically how the hand looks like. Um I actually make some kind of uh how say the colors as you can see is actually two different colors. This is a uh, one that I custom make and this is black. But I think maybe because the black, I add in slight white thin to it to make them to have the shading, right? You can see that there is a slight shading here. Uh, actually, I try to make shading on the dark part, which is actually one of my biggest weaknesses. So I'm trying my best to um, practice on this kit, right? Um, but it turns out to look good, but it's not really to my expectations. Right, so that is one of my mistakes. And um, oh yeah, this this kit also I've been building it in dark, so <laughs> it's quite stupid of me to to actually build it in the dark. But somehow I feel that building in the dark, my eyes actually feels more relaxed than on a bright light. Yep. So, but 
building the dark you have some issues we go with it let me just take this off and let, let me show you stuff that I missed all right so as you can see over here you can see there is a numb mark over there right I didn't clean them properly because once I cut off to the runners I always I usually just cut off a few and then after that I uh, send them down uh, all together I didn't cut down and send them I mean my, my process is I'll cut, cut 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 everything and put it on the, on the table and then I will start sending everything but I will start to forget where all the nut box uh, positions are so that is one thing and second thing I actually broke the mechanism over here see I can't open all the way as you can see this thing just broke off so let me just show you this is actually how it broke off how it looks like so it's actually supposed to be a C kind of design and now it is like a semi semi C and the other part of it is actually stuck inside over here right so as you can see this is not broken so you can actually open up and it's no issue you can keep opening and closing for this part it's very hard you have to uh, get them to balance by holding maybe this edge of this C over here or this part here when it's closed right okay so before I um, do that I will just let you like guys see the inside of this thing so over here there is actually a few colors which is um, gunmetal for this uh, ring thingy outside and then this few thing I actually hand painted some bronze color to it to give it some of a slight detail inside instead of just a single color and then the chrome for the inner part right so this is actually how I do because somehow um, I, I would, if you guys see most of my videos I actually like all the gun barrels to be chrome for some reason it just feels really nice in my opinion so that's about it and also yeah the Vulcans on the head the Vulcans on the head are also chrome the original one I think was grey I guess uh, normally I just paint them with chrome Right, so basically this is how and then when I want to close it in I need to manually fix it in and push it down hard to close it and even that the close the, the closing is not really accurate so I need to open up the left slightly to make it uh, align okay and then for the legs um, nothing much is still the same um, yeah but then this part is actually slightly loose some of the parts as you can see this part just break off I do not know why is it my mistake or something but I didn't really shave anything from here and also as you can see again the inner part here there is a lot of numb marks that actually when I painted it I saw it but I'm just too lazy to take it up uh, to, to take care of it I guess I'll just go in with the uh, maybe a black Gundam marker to actually close to, to just go through and just cover them up okay so uh, that's, that is my, my issue. <laughs> I'm actually quite lazy and I like to do things fast. Right? So yeah. So um, as you can see this kit looks pretty good. I would say. I, I don't think so it looks bad. Uh, okay. Why is there a gap here? Yeah. Maybe I didn't press it any down properly. Okay. So basically this kit looks very very good compared to the other Supernova kits. It's mainly because of the color separation. Why is this gap here so big? Well, okay, just ignore the gap. I'll just fix them off camera. Okay, so for, as you can see, this kit over here is uh, the color separation is good. From the uh, unboxing, I actually, I mean, for the initial review, I will show you that this this black part over here, all of these black pieces are all separate parts compared to the um, the other supernova kits like the Sh the Sheng not Shenglong, uh, what's it called the Gundam Ultron, and also the um, What's it called? The sand, uh, sand rock, is it? Yeah, the sand rocks and the uh, Ultron. All of those parts are actually built in details of the plastic. You have to do your own masking and painting yourself. Okay, so if you guys want to know, I would actually just show you guys all the colors that I've used. I will just put them over here. Okay, so the first color, of course, black is very simple. It's just black uh, shaded with white okay and then the um how to say the yellow the, the v fins uh, i basically just use a uh, chrome once it's dry i just put in um the candy yellow color uh on top of it okay next was the purple 
uh, the purple basically all I do is um, use the normal uh, 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 how to say I'll just put a base with a uh, black and then I just shade it with, with white once it is dry I just put a very very light coat of purple until I get the color that I want okay and then um, the inner part which is the green uh, the green details inside the chest and etc um, those basically I put in uh, around 20% of blue and maybe 20% uh, of blue and then uh, 30 no, I think I just mix the blue and the green basically I'll just type them out um, I'll just mix the blue and the green um, and then I add in quite a lot of white to make it lighter okay so and then the next one was actually this outer part over here you can see uh, it's supposed to be two-tone but for some reason in the camera it just looks off uh, but basically that actually I did the same with the inner part but I do not want it to be similar so I add more black to it because I want it to be dark but for some reason the black just overpowers everything I tried adding more white and stuff like that but when I painted it it looks uh, when it is the paint is still wet it just looks perfect but for some reason the next morning when I come and see my kid the 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 the, the green or the light or the dark blue part somehow it becomes black so if I were to turn back time and redo that part I would say that I will put maybe more white into it okay so yeah that's about it because I actually wanted it to have a two-tone effect not to be too drastically different than the original but for some reason it doesn't really really comes out okay so um, finally before I end this video I will actually show you the backpack uh, backpacks normally what I actually do is I just of course follow the normal colors that is given from I mean provided by Bandai right and then if let's say there are like inner details like this I will actually uh, I prefer to paint them chrome because I always like the, the color of uh, chrome peeking out from a very very dark part okay instead of a uh, gunmetal as you can see the gunmetal and the black over here it doesn't pop up that much compared to this because for me there's actually, this is actually a very very nice detail right so if it's gunmetal as a slightly dark color it's very very hard to see them okay and then the thrusters I also usually just paint them chrome I want them to look like uh, somewhat like a metal part kind of thing because uh, for me I don't really use metal parts I prefer to just use plastics because it's easier to shape and stuff but metal is actually nice because it looks very very shiny chrome and I would say very hard look it looks badass right so I, I can see that why I mean the appeal of the chrome part I mean the metal parts are important in the Gunpla community right as for me I'm always building mostly on the budget especially for just um, my own collection I don't really uh, care that much about this type of stuff okay guys so this is the end of the video um basically uh please let me know what you guys want to see uh maybe i'll just post it up on instagram if you guys want you guys can just check me out over there um maybe certain parts and angles that i didn't take uh, uh didn't take any pictures of this kit you can you guys can let me know if you want to know more information of what i've done with this kit you guys also can ask me down in the comments below usually i'll just reply you on the same day as i see the comments okay so um that's all for today. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.